Hey everybody! Hi. Hi guys, we're on holidays at the moment. Oh, I'm loving it, Absolutely sick. Loving it. We've um, gotten a collection of some of the finest work that we've done throughout the year. Oh, guys! And then we've padded it out with some rubbish. Don't ever sell it, no. <laughs> yeah. Don't ever sell it. And uh, this, of course, being a live broadcast. Um, mm. uh, today's best bits are all about. From the vault 2018. Couldn't have oh, said it better yeah. myself. Oh my God, right to the point you are. <laughs> Enjoy. This is Nathan, Matt and Sean. Time to catch up with the star of Peter Rabbit, Margot Robbie. Hello, sorry to be waiting. Hi, Robbie. Hi, Hi. Flopsy. Hi. Hi, Flopsy. <laughs> That's me. Hey, Margot, we all went along to different cinemas to watch yeah. Peter Rabbit. It was amazing. And the best part about it is just hearing the kids losing their stuff. Fully. Uh, how funny the movie was. They were cacking themselves. That's, that makes me feel better because every time I see Donal getting, um, you know, you know, a punched in the face by yeah. like a, a an animated mm. animal in this movie. I'm catch, cacking myself. Yeah. I'm happy that it brings joy to the kids as well. It's it great. Really at the cinema that I was at, about I think it was about 50 little girls hopped in with bunny ears, like literally hopping down oh to their God. chairs. Mm. And then I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm the only person here without a kid. And then my mum turned to me and said, I've brought my kid. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I went, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> it is an adorable movie. And I tell you what, uh, there is a strong Australian Contingent in Everywhere. this particular. They were, there what was is. going on there? I know, us Aussies were taking over. I love it. Do you reckon they're going to start blocking us out of stuff, Margot, yeah. because like we are taking over? Yeah, they're, they're going to catch on soon. I mean, I think yeah. they are catching on, but yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, sooner or later. Donald Trump will build a wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Margot. Funnily enough, we made that joke just the other day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Margot, when you're in the voice booth, are you allowed to turn up to work um, just wearing thongs and, you know, old pair of tracky dacks, or mm. do you have to actually put in like you Because they'll be filming do? it. No. no. No, no, no. I, I, yeah, you can turn up however you want. It's like it's the beauty of doing an animated film, and I hadn't – done an animated film before this so um yes no hair and makeup time whatsoever brilliant it was it was really oh that's right because you were supposed to be in larrikins but they end up pulling that yeah, yeah. Mention. that's a shame yeah. isn't it i that's, know such, such a, a good bummer. guy yeah but did that mean that you didn't have that normal camaraderie that you have with the movie because you would just go in and do your bit rather than hanging out with the whole crew yeah, which is something that like I I, I really love about making movies is mm. being on set all day with like you know the yeah. same you know sixty to tattooing one another. People. <laughs> yeah, whatever happens, it's like you you really become fr- like family by the end of the film. So I miss the on set aspect of it, but we'd find ways to kind of have the camaraderie mainly by videoing um, messages to each other. Like Will, our director, whoever was coming in to do their voiceover in the next couple of days, we. You know, and do, do F- Flopsy, Flopsy had a, a lisp. Did you? Um, yeah. did you were your method? Did you hang around with lispy people? I, uh, <laughs> funnily enough, it's kind of embarrassing. But when I wear my retainer at night, it kind of gives me a lisp. Um, it's not embarrassing. I have a lisp. Don't, just be proud about it, okay. Margot. <laughs> yeah, so, well, so I'm not that. embarrassed about the lisp part. I'm embarrassed that not I'm 27 and I still wear my retainer <laughs> every night. They told me I only had to do it for the first couple of years after getting my braces off, but I'm kind of pedantic about keeping my teeth straight. So I wear my Retainer every night, and it gives me a list, which was you, helpful you for this sexy role. little thing. Oh, yeah. good on I you. remember when we had braces. Actually, um, mm. uh, the one thing that they told me, and I never used to eat them, but I just like put shivers down me because they said you can't eat toffee apples and for some reason I was like oh, how am I going to live I never ate toffee apples I couldn't even bite into an apple with my braces I even had like, a regular yeah. apple no I couldn't even bite into it I had big metal train tracks I didn't get even get the clear ones oh. now these days people get Invisalign I'm like yeah. oh yeah, the yeah, whole that's of childhood genuine. trauma you are not experienced it's paid yeah. off you've got lovely teeth thank you yeah no I don't think I'd be working today in this industry <laughs> yeah. if I hadn't had braces so. hey Margot with Flopty as well with having um, the bit of a lisp going there's a bit of an English accent as well. You mm. seem to be able to nail pretty much any accent. I know. Is, 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 is yeah, it hard work Wall to Street, do? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not true, but thank you. No, I, uh, but uh, no, I, I, that's something I love doing because. I don't. Know, I don't even know how I would act with an Australian accent anymore. It feels so strange because I just do an accent, you know, yeah. a different accent and something. But no, there are a lot of ones I haven't yet tackled, and uh, I'd be intrigued to do an Irish accent and a South African accent. They're the two that I yeah. think would be the most difficult, and I haven't given it a go yet. You know what? We as as a country are super proud of you um, collectively mm. uh, because 
not just are you tearing it up in Hollywood, the fact that you've got your own um, production, like, entertainment company, uh, uh, yeah, Lucky Os- Chat. And you are Oscar you. nominated, young lady. You're, 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 not just like, you. you're not just in films. You're creating new spaces for people in film. And, and, and it just seems like you've done it in such a quick time and the reputation you've got is just amazing. How did you do that? Because a lot of people go there and no, but a lot of people just yeah. go there and exist in movies, but you didn't. You've, you've done what I suppose Reese Witherspoon and Nicole Kidman yes. have done with their production company, creating Big Little Lies, but you've done it so quickly. Yeah. No, it, 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 is, it is quickly and kind of like with the acting thing, it all there was always the big plan and I always expected it would take longer than it actually did, but it did start long before people started hearing about it. I think we first started talking about the company in 2013 when yeah. I was... 23 then we got started really working on it in 2014 and then you know we we filmed our first thing in 20 the start of 2016 and then we did two films last year in 2017 so it has kind of been incremental but we didn't uh you know foresee having such a great entry into the industry as as we got to have with with itonia um that kind of Put us on a map in in the best way we could have ever planned to. Amazing, you're yeah. a big player being now. Recognized, so it it was yeah, it's been amazing, and it was yeah, uh, like you said, a lot quicker than we were expecting. You well, clever Margo, lady, I know. Nathan's right. You know, everything seems to be working brilliantly for you, and soup. Uh, and on top well, of that, deserved. you're super attractive, so you, you're absolutely <laughs> killing it. What are you bad at? What are you no good oh, yeah. at? There must be something. Oh, so many things. I'm funnily enough, I'm not actually like really good at anything. I feel like I'm just a like. A slightly above average at most hey, can things. Can you sing? Can is, you sing? I, no, I'm a terrible singer. Okay. Good. Yep, there's Good. one thing. Good. I have uh, <laughs> no musical capabilities. I can't play an instrument. I mean, I try to play instruments, but I can't. Yeah. That doesn't come to me naturally. Sport? Um, I'm like okay at, but that's what I mean. Like I'm, you know, mm. average at You're most competent. sports I yeah. try and do, yeah. but I've never been like, in school I would never like won any races or came top of the class in anything. Not even drama, ironically enough. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. But, uh, but, you know, just like kind of, you know, feel like I. Can you I, cook? I like taking Are you a cook? Uh, no, I'm a terrible cook. There's another thing I'm really bad at. I, li- okay. Things literally ignite when I'm in good. the kitchen. Do you have like only... a dry patch of skin somewhere? Like, <laughs> I, uh, anything? One I, uh, elbow or something? I, uh, and I have lots, yeah, lots of yeah, terrible tendencies. I okay. procrastinate and good. yeah. All Thank sorts, you. all sorts of yeah. Yeah, that just makes, that just makes you more perfect to us. <laughs> <laughs> it is usually we get like uh, you know a little bit nervous doing a big mm. star like you, but you don't with you because you feel comfortable. Mm. So, oh, thanks. Yeah, you're a good chick. The Nathan, Nat, and Sean podcast. It's a special day. It's not just Friday. No, no, it's even more special than Happy that. Happy birthday to, to you. That is great. Happy I'm a nice guy. Sean. <laughs> and I mean, they did, didn't they yeah, just go yeah. on? Yeah. Thanks, guys. And and on a bit. It. Yeah, it's from the bottom yeah. of our heart. Yeah. And you know what? Sean's asked me on so many occasions, Nathan, what's a sausage party like? <laughs> and I've said, Sean, heaps of fun. And because yeah. it's your birthday, we yeah. thought we're going to give we'll you one. Show you one. What do you mean? We're, well, <laughs> I mean, we've gone to the trouble of firing up the barbecue just out in the balcony. We're going to go out and have a sausage sizzle. So you can feel <laughs> like, like you're I... standing outside of Bunnings. It'll be amazing. Oh, that sounds all right to me. What, I mean, have you got? Have you got all the essentials? Yeah, we do. What have you got? We got we got a mustard, tomato sauce, barbecue sauce. Um, we've got buns, onions. um, sausages, of course, onions. Tongs, we think you should cook it. Um, and so you can feel manly. Okay. It's going to cost you $2.50 per one that you buy. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to drop it, you know, 10 or 12. Let's do it. The, the barbecue oh, is literally yeah. smoking. It's that hot. And oh, just and whack a sausage on there. Come on. Get oh, on with wait it. Wait there now. Let me get a There we go. There we go. Oh. Happy birthday. Oh, a special guest. Oh, oh, Shut up. Liam Bartlett has walked in on holding a cake Liam with a candle. Yeah, a you know cheesecake. Welcome to the saddest birthday ever <laughs> with the saddest little cake. Blow out the candle. Expense to the management. There we go. Thank you, Liam. That's little, my, oh. little cheesecake. That's my so week's per diem. We've got, <laughs> <laughs> we've got both a sausage party and oh, now a ratings oh, boost oh, yeah, from yeah. Liam oh. Bartlett. Like the, you, uh, the gifts just keep on coming, Sean. I'll tell you what. What a weird. Yeah, That's well, my day. Well, you, can, you take care of your mate. Test, Thank you. I'll do the chops. I'm not BB Rexo, but. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a tune. What's it's happening, so good to You're see just, you. Just I'm, passing by. I'm very confused with the themes the program's got running this morning. I can't work out now. Just let me get this straight. So it's 
Is it Thomas the Goose's birthday and you're, <laughs> you turned bisexual? <laughs> I, I'm well, ladies and gentlemen, going to be blind, so well, you're right. My question is, why wasn't that covered on 60 Minutes, mate? <laughs> well, exactly. <laughs> I, look, I'm, I'm, it's just perfect timing. I just got back last night before last. And you heard so there was going to be a sausage party. I've and been and you away were like... for a few weeks in preparation for the new season. <laughs> oh, fantastic. And then uh, the, your producer, your beautiful producer, Claire, rang and said, it's Sean's birthday today. I said, of course, it's in my diary. <laughs> <laughs> so here I am. I mean, the opportunity to have a sausage with you, um, with all your friends. It's yeah. It's just, <laughs> all your friends. <laughs> hang on, let me count them. I oh, don't count them out loud, though. Um, I could have had a couple of fingers amputated and still made it. And everybody that's here has been paid to be here. <laughs> yes, that's right. But you brought a plus one. Yeah, well, isn't it funny how it's not cool to hang out with your dad if you're a teenage girl unless you're coming to Nova? Yeah, yeah. Right. Now, what, oh. is, now, what is that? Yeah. Oh, so is the that? daughter of Liam Bartlett. Let's get over. Let's get <laughs> part of this. Oh, no. <laughs> Come over here. How are you? I'm good, thank you. What, what is your, your name? name? Olivia. Olivia. Olivia, you are beautiful and tall. How did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> well, we know where the tall comes from. <laughs> What's it like being the daughter of Liam? Um, it is such a privilege, really. I just wake up every day and I feel super Okay, she blessed. needs some money. To the dulcet tone, <laughs> Brilliant, Olivia. brilliant. All the time. Keep it going. Hey, Olivia, are you going to follow in... coming on. Are you, you going to follow in your dad's footsteps? Um, I don't know. No, she needs a real I'd job. I'd love, though. like, really, some really deep set footsteps to follow in, so I think I might pick someone else. You are know? you driving Dad around at the moment, are you, Olivia? Uh, I was, but we actually... Dad said I could share his car with him, so I bought us a cool keychain, but he's taken it off. <gasps> so well, I'm not was, really sure about It was about a bit Thomas the Goose. Anyway. <laughs> Quickly, how old are you? I'm 18. 18. She's gorgeous. How is that with the boys knocking so on surprised? your door? Thank you, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look, have a great day, mate. <laughs> All the best, mate. You've got to go. Thank you, mate. Nathan, Nat and Sean. We're really partying hard for Sean's birthday. This is super difficult. I'm used to only handling one Something's sausage. Something's on fire. You've got many sausages, Nathan. You're doing a great job. <laughs> Mm, and there's jokes. like eight kilos Liam, of my onion. My favourite comment of the whole morning is Liam goes, so really, is this it? <laughs> <laughs> I had to ask. Liam, Liam Bartlett, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Party, yeah. Yeah. But you know yeah. what? You know what will buy some time and pump up the party a little bit? This. Leave it to Liam. Liam, Liam. That's right, it's a special birthday, guest, yes. birthday treat for Sean. Sure. Liam Bartlett's dropped by. Thank um, God. Oh, yes. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just going to be really sad. Oh, it's a big party. Uh, Leave it to Liam is a segment where Liam Bartlett offers his assistance, um, limited as it is, to people who have real problems. Brenton from Oakford, that's you. Hello. Hello, good morning. Hey, Brenton. Brenton. What seems to be the problem, Brenton? Well, I've got a, a massive problem, actually. Mm. Um, I just uh, flew in from holidays yesterday, oh. and uh, I'm driving back into work this morning. Yeah. And and I don't want to go. Oh, yes. that is a problem. That's everyone's yeah. holiday. I, mm. I, I just don't want to go because it's sort of just back to the real world. Mm. And I was quite detached from the real world for a little while, yeah. for a week, mm. and uh, don't want to go back. I don't Brenton, know what to do. Brenton, um, I just want to jump in here quickly. Um, get here to Nova. We need the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you like on birthday party crowd rental? <laughs> All right. Well, help Liam, uh, Liam help Brenton out with his problem. Well, it's a t what do you do for a living, Brenton? I uh, work in an engineering office in the city. Do you do any uh, writing? Any writing? Mm -hmm. uh, writing? Yeah, a bit of writing. Why yeah. is that? Uh, well, it's writer's block, mate. <laughs> Where have you been? Where'd you go on uh, holiday? Uh, we went to, uh, me and my son went to uh, Minnesota, went to uh, the Super Bowl. Oh, oh, Brenton, I wouldn't oh. want to come okay. back to work either. We don't feel sorry for you anymore, yeah, the Brenton. The sympathy's <laughs> completely gone. <laughs> So it's, uh, it's very difficult and I just need some top advice as to what the hell do I do today? Yeah, just suck That's it up, mate. Idea. Oh. <laughs> Were you barracking for the Patriots? No, going for the Philly Eagles. Yeah. And oh, they won. And so they won. won as well. And they won. So it was a fantastic He's trip. It's very hard I'm to feel sorry hard to for find you. any sort of... <laughs> <laughs> Are you anybody relating to Brenton? Because I'm not. Not one not person one. is related. Not even a little bit. The Brenton's problem is I've had the most amazing time. Everything I wanted to happen yeah. happened and yeah. now I'm back, at, back in Perth and I've got to go to work. Yeah. Yeah, that's I, right. But Brendan, a collective up yours from everyone. I think. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. Yeah, but I appreciate the up yours. I'm not really getting any advice here. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, well that's, you, that's the show. Welcome to the segment. <laughs> 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 I believe we might have nailed it then. Um, good luck with that, Brendan. 
You're listening to Nathan, Nat and Sean. A moment. Um, silence, please, for the suffering of our. No, no, you know what, Natalie? We've been silent for too long. <laughs> Sean? Thank you. That yeah. silence is the problem, Natalie. It's That's a, the thing. You know, we saw Kesha speak out recently. Yeah, it's the same. It's yeah. the same for me and, and speaking out on behalf of all men out there. Now, Sean doesn't want to speak ill of the beautiful relationship he's in, but yesterday may or may not have been his ninth year anniversary and um, and he got his wife just a field of flowers and uh, a basically. Bunch. A, a bunch of flowers. Basically, a of shares in a chocolate factory. And a block of chocolate. And <laughs> Megan prom- said, oh, I've got a card for you, I'll give it to you later, and then the card never came. Because she hadn't bought it yet. No. And I'm we're just gonna- saying, on the flip side, if yes. that was to happen on the flip side, yeah. there'd be All women Natalie. protesting Nathan, in the street. Natalie asked me the question this morning. Imagine if I said to Natalie, no, I didn't I get, get her anything. anything. What would she do? Oh, What does she wow. normally do at me? I would wow. say, wow. as like expected. A, like an alley cat, Sean. <laughs> 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 Um, it's what these boys are calling reverse sexism. You're a great um, alley cat, <laughs> Gary's in Padbury. Hello. Hey, Nathan, Nathan, and Sean. Hey, oh, Gary. Gary. You're free, I'm mate. glad that you've got a chance to use your voice here, Gary. It's a safe platform. Now, Gary. hurry up. We've got nine minutes before your wife gets up. <laughs> What's going well, on? Well, I'm, I'm with Shawnee on this one. Yeah. Been married for over 30 years. Never once got an anniversary present. <gasps> If it wasn't for um, my partner's friend ringing her up and, and advising her that it's our anniversary coming up, I'd get nothing. So, but you do get nothing. Gary, you know what oh, you're that is it. horrendous. So, Gary. Gary, Gary, on an anniversary, a normal anniversary, what will she be um, expecting off you? What do you give her? Oh, flowers, presents, chocolates, trips. 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 It's just raining trips. In anniversary presents, Gary, coming from oh. you. Mate, all the time. Hey, Gary, if you so, didn't so bring. Thoughtful. Yeah, if you didn't bring something home. Even though that she was always a bit forgetful. Even though she can't remember that it's her anniversary. Would it come back in your face? Oh, straight in my face, mate. I mean, I'm pretty busy run my own business and everything. And, um, you know, I haven't got much time to myself. But if I forget, oh, there's, there's hell to pay. See that, Natalie? Yeah. Uh, Gary's out Disgusting. hunting all day. She's just gathering. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, she's been busy with the kids and everything. I know that's... Um, oh, that old chestnut, oh, Gary. Oh, raising We've your children. Oh, oh, Gary. Oh, oh, Gary. Oh, oh, you know you know what? After their birth, they raise themselves. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel Shawnee's pain, mate. I really do. Nathan, Nat, and Sean in podcast form. Sean's really suffering. We yes. are talking about reverse sexism today, and I had a great discussion with Nathan. And he helped me realise that this <laughs> should be spoken about. James is in <laughs> Kelvin Scott. Hello. How are you going, guys? James. Oh, James. James. Have you, are you suffering too? Yeah. Look, my story is in regard to um, account balances. Obviously, being married, we have the joint account now. Yeah. Um, I get paid through the books, which is all good. Yeah. Obviously, my money goes in, pays the bills, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But Mrs. gets paid cash in hand. And then out of that, we get X amount of dollars per week to spend that we'll call this pocket money. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. I'm not going to lie. I'm happy to take the role in the account because I'm pretty bad with money. So I will spend my money regularly. Yes. And then, of course, I have to get the account, which is traceable. She, on the other hand, <laughs> is quite able to spend more than her amount because she holds the cash. Yep. She, she's uh-huh. living her life James, off the books. absolutely. <laughs> exactly. James. And I don't know how often this is and how much he spends, but when I go over my limit, I'm raked over the cold. I'm the same. It's- I'm the same. I feel And she pain. could be out with the girls just making it rain and you yeah. have no, no idea. You can't trace it. You can't track it. Exactly. She could be putting two hundred dollars a week away run money. You don't even know. She's probably got fifty thousand dollars stashed under, in the backyard. Probably. And then when you're when you've spent a little bit too much and probably a present for her, um, <laughs> then she gets a little shovel, the shovel that she bought from Burberry, by the way, um, <laughs> and then she digs up her money and then she's out of there with all your stuff. Yeah. Exactly right. I'd, <laughs> watch, I'd, watch, I'd watch your back, James. It's on the cards, James. <laughs> uh, How much those Burberry shovels, Sean? Oh, my God. <laughs> Jeez. They are thousands. But that's heart and pattern. It looks awesome. Oh, it's, it's um, pretty. Let's go to Colin in Wanneroo. <laughs> Hello. How are you going, guys? Hey, Colin. Oh, good, okay. Colin. Hey, Colin, what have you got for us? Well, it's actually not about me. I'm calling on behalf of my brother-in-law. Fantastic. I, I've got a lovely sister, a uh, lovely nephew and niece, mm. but... My sister has this ability to be able to go down to Margaret River with the girls, um, go to the the Crown Casino with the girls. But I have to ring up my sister and plead with her to take my brother-in-law out to play golf. So you have to ask for permission on his behalf. (laughs) Well, well, you'll get told no. What's the basis behind the no? Well, it's $50. 
because <laughs> it, it's about thirty-eight dollars for the for the goal. Yes. Um, it's about twelve dollars for beers afterwards. Yes. And he's away for four to five hours. Yeah. Well, he's got but, to be at home with the kids because she's going out with the girls. That's pretty good value. <laughs> that is ten dollars an hour. Yeah. That's ten dollars yeah. an hour fun. Yeah, and and like his birthday is on New Year's Day, so everyone's going to know who it is now. Um, <laughs> Because there is, and you're right, there's only gets, one person with no that birthday. Presents, yeah. He gets yeah. no <gasps> presents, no cards, no. because it's so close to Christmas. <gasps> and he was away working offshore, <laughs> and yeah. he missed her birthday. Yeah. And he got raked over because the coals he was because working. he never made a phone call. And he was and, offshore. And Colin, and Colin, this is your sister. She's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and you know what, Colin? I hear her kids are lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Nathan, Matt and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.